Welcome back, people. Now, we've been seeing a lot of news of UFOs in social media and in the media, okay? Everyone's posting, going crazy, vlogging and whatnot, yeah? But we need to learn the link between the scriptures and UFOs. And who better to do that than the teacher, Rap the News. Check this out, people. Psalm 6817, the chariots of God are 20,000. Why the guy got 20,000 ships? The angels could fly. The Gentiles ain't making it into the kingdom. They don't really need them ships. Then I guess them ships is for us, ain't it? Think about that. The chariots of God are 20,000. Even thousands of angels. So he's making a distinction that there are chariots and there are angels. The Lord is among them, right? And so he used the word chariot that, that we know of. And this is a chariot, you know, is the vehicle. And let's look at the definition while we had a chariot definition, a vehicle, chariot definition, a vehicle, 20,000 vehicles of the most high God used in ancient warfare and racing. The thing about the chariot right here is not so much of where the rider goes. He's picking you up in the chariot, right? The chariots of God are 20,000. The, the angels fly, so it ain't for the angels. It ain't for the Gentiles. Then these chariots, like he said, he's going to lift us up out of the place where we were sold. Then he's going to rain down on their heads them brimstones, right? Okay. Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots. A chariot is a vehicle. The thing about this chariot is not just the, the passenger place, but the wheel is what we are focusing on here. His chariots is like a whirlwind. And so what is a whirlwind? Round. It's going in, a, in a, a, a round way, right? So it ain't this part of the chariot where you see that. It's this part of the chariot that's driving the wheel that everything rolls on. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So again, he's going to lift us out of the place with his chariots like a whirlwind the chariots are like a whirlwind so if you look at the box part that don't look like a whirlwind but if you look at the wheel that would more resemble a whirlwind and we're just talking from our levels of understanding here no disrespect whirlwind definition a column of air rapidly moving around and around right a circle so like a whirlwind like a circle going around and round so now we have a chariot a vehicle that goes round and round right Just trying to get an understanding so we can look at something like this whirlwind definition a column of air moving rapidly round and round but we are looking for not only wind going round and round but also a chariot a vehicle that goes round and round and ezekiel was described as a wheel within a wheel second Kings six seventeen, and elisha prayed and said lord i pray thee open his eyes the man who couldn't see the chariots and the angels and they could see because just like he's trying to say you have a man standing there with Elijah and Elisha and he's saying okay we screwed and then they saying how are we screwed can you not see and he's saying see what so they had to pray to open this man's eyes up so he can see and when when the most high God opened his eyes up he saw the chariots of the most high God and he saw the angels so he said he opened up his eyes of the young man and he saw behold the mountain was full of horses and 
chariots, vehicles that go round and round of fire, round about Elisha. So it, it could look like this, but it is a vehicle that you, what, what, what are we going to be on the outskirts of the clouds going around in a circle and shit? Like in a tornado? No, we're going to be seated comfortably. Let's keep going. Second Kings 2, 1. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah, like we going to be lifted up in Joel 3, right? Into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Okay. Second Kings 2, 11. And it came to pass as they still went on and talk that behold there appeared a chariot a vehicle with, with that goes around and round like a whirlwind of fire and then comma and horses of fire and parted both asunder and elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven not remained on this earth right so if he went up and some verse say Elijah is supposed to be coming back is now is not he coming down by this whirlwind this will and this will Ezekiel 116 the appearance of the will and their work was like unto the color of barrel like a aquamarine or a bluish green color and they four had one likeness and the appearance of their work was as if it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Let's go back to the chariot again because it keeps talking about wheels. A wheel and in the middle looks like a wheel. A wheel within a wheel. That is what it looks like. So it can look like this. Bam. A wheel and these are ancient these are ancient wheels back around the time these are ancient wheels around that time a wheel within the wheel so this is what wheels look like back then right so what did I look like today if that was coming out of the sky exactly we ain't getting in those. I am. So I, I'm open minded. There's more. So it can, if you look at this, this is called a sun halo right here to the left. It, this is look like a wheel on the outside and a wheel on the inside, a wheel within a wheel. How do we enter that? How do we go? How does it all work? Don't know but it can be considered. Then you got a spacecraft right here next to this and right here next to it. And it, it looks like a wheel, like on a chariot. That's why they're using the word chariot. We want to focus on the wheel within the wheel. And then it can be something like this, a wheel within a wheel. So it can be this, that, 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 or that. And it can be coming in clouds like this. So these are the things that we're watching for. You know, and she can be at her level and say, I, I reject all of this. I don't like it because sometimes pride speak for us. You know, we don't want to be humble as people. Barrel colors, emerald green, aquamarine, greenish blue, or something like that. So we look for these greenish blue ships. The people that know, you know, and the government can make ships, but you should know the difference. You know, you should know what's from God and what was man made. Every Hebrew ain't going to the kingdom and we all are not leaving here in the same way. So we got many scriptures saying that people are going to, people are going to be here on this earth tending the land, making it milk and honey. And some people, according to your deeds and righteousness, is just going to be somewhere else. Isaiah 60, number 9. 
Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarsus first, to bring thy sons from afar, with their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he has glorified them. So watch this. So some people is going on the ships of Tarsus, which some people believe are the ships from Britain. Right? Some people is going to be lifted out. Some people is going with God when he comes in a shout and the trumpet, right? This is what, this is what we, we, it ain't all the same way. We are not all on the same levels. We are different people doing different things. Isaiah 49, 22. Thus says the Lord God, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people and they shall bring thy sons in thy arms and thy daughters shall be carried on your shoulders. So they bring in it bringing you well back into slavery no into the promised land jeremiah 32 37 behold i will gather them out of all the countries now god whether whether i have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in in great wrath and i will bring them again unto this place and i will cause them to dwell safely so you can go right back to jerusalem don't mean we all going to the same places by the same way. Joel 3, 7. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them. So is this the t ships of Tarshish? No. Or the D ships? You know. And I will return your recompense on your head. Rain down them meteorites and brimstones on you. On the Gentiles. Joel three sixteen. The Lord shall also roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens shall shake but the Lord shall be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel and he also states ye shall not be left unpunished you ain't going to no damn happy place some people have to get their ass punished a third got to be brought through the fire and melted like gold is melted to get away all of the dross the iniquity so we ain't, it's like a person with, with all, without all that iniquity, they don't have to go through the fire like that. We ain't, we ain't all going, this is the end here, you know, and we get delivered in different ways and, and, and I'm proving it with the scriptures. If you don't want to believe, you don't have to believe. I ain't going back on this. You can see, look through the scriptures that I'm showing you again. Isaiah 10, 22, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet only a remnant, remnant shall return. So everybody ain't going. Let's keep going. And we also know we have been delivered before in multiple ways. Jesus was taken up into a cloud. Ezekiel was taken up into a cloud. The remnant is going to be taken and transported by God. Noah was delivered by a ship. The children of Israel walked. Lot ran. You know. And so these are all different ways. God does what he wants. You know, and none of us can say definitely God himself by some big old hand is going to come out and we're going to step on his fingernails and get in. No. The cloud is going to blow us up. No. We're going to walk to Jerusalem. No. It's whichever way God want to take us. And that's what all these verses are saying. You know, and, and these wheels ain't for nothing. Let's go back up to the top again. The chariots of the Most High God are 20,000. It's 144,000, supposedly, of us. You figure out and do the math of that and see how many it seats. This is Rap the News.